Achtung, baby! Some dogs just seem to command our attention and respect. Their body language says, I'm here, I'm watching you. Others grab our attention with their sweet expressions and playful demeanor. Hey, mister. How much does physical appearance or personality matter when you're choosing a dog? Or are you more interested in the breed's abilities and behavioral traits? Matching the dog's characteristics to your expectations calls for some research. Start your quest for the right dog by asking yourself, which woof's for me? In this episode, we'll discover why the Golden Retriever has been described as the perfect dog and why the versatile German Shepherd dog plays so many important roles the world over. First up, the Golden Retriever. Intended to be purely a hunting dog, the Golden Retriever has aristocratic roots dating as far back as 1835, when hunting was both a popular sport and a practical way to obtain food. On his country estate in Scotland, Lord Tweedmouth combined a water spaniel, Irish setter, and flat-coated retriever to produce the yellow flat-coated retriever, a dog well-suited for wildfowling, both upland game and waterfowl. As early as 1882, a few Goldens had appeared in North America, and in 1925, the American Kennel Club recognized this large breed in the sporting division. Now solidly ranked as the third most popular dog in America, the Golden Retriever's exuberant yet reliable disposition makes it the classic family dog. And its physical agility enables the breed to be a highly skilled hunting companion. The Golden Retriever was bred to retrieve felled game in the field and waterfowl from lakes. Its sense of smell is acute, among the best of all breeds. Sure-footed, sturdy, and ready to work, Goldens are excellent bomb sniffers and are superstars at search and rescue. In the aftermath of 9-11, Golden Retrievers worked tirelessly with their handlers to scour the disaster site. Their instinctive talents, especially their sure-footedness, were invaluable in navigating the rubble, and their patient, sweet natures helped uplift the spirits of their wranglers. The Golden Retriever personality is golden. <laughs> this is a dog that's going to follow you from room to room, going to want to be on the furniture if you let them, want to be in your lap. But this is a breed that they love their people. They, they have a intense willing to please attitude. Eager to please and easy to train, the Golden Retriever is a good choice for first time dog owners. But getting a Golden from a qualified breeder is a must. To learn more about breeders, go to FidoTVChannel.com or download the Fido TV mobile app. If you're a field and stream kind of person, the Golden is a superb gun dog. It was bred to do this work, and this is truly its natural element. The Golden is large. Males stand 23 to 24 inches at the withers and weigh about 65 to 75 pounds. Females are 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches tall and generally weigh less, 55 to 65 pounds. With bird dog abilities bred in from the get-go, Goldens are pretty easily trained to retrieve waterfowl on command. Their swimming skills are exceptional, as are their strength and endurance levels. As natural-born swimmers, you can count on a wet dog if there's a body of water nearby. The first thing that most people notice about the Golden is its luxurious coat, which can be wavy or flat, but is a unique advantage for the dog and the hunter. Ranging in color from pale cream to a deep gold with a reddish cast, the Golden's coat is usually very pale when it's a puppy and then darkens as it ages. The AKC describes the Golden's coat as rich, lustrous, and golden of various shades. Dark golden, gold, and light golden are named as the standard colors, while feathering may be lighter than the rest of the coat. Keeping the Golden well-groomed takes a commitment of time and energy since they shed moderately in winter and summer and heavily in the spring and fall. You need to brush them out once a week. You should do their nails about every other week. You should brush their teeth once a week. So you're not talking a ton of time. 
These remarkable dogs are not only beautiful to look at, but also a joy to own. Find out how much exercise this playful pet needs to stay healthy when we return. With good care, good nutrition, and the reassurance of a good breeder, one that conducts proper health checks and pedigree evaluation, you can expect a Golden to lead a happy, active life, usually for 12 to 14 years. There are some problems that are specific to the breed, such as hip and elbow dysplasia, eye disease, or cardiac problems. But by working with a responsible breeder, you'll get the information you need about health concerns. For help finding a reputable breeder, consult the AKC's website or visit the Golden Retriever Club of America's site. Good boy, Rooster. What will compromise the Golden Retriever's health, however, is a lack of outdoor exercise. Daily exercise, such as walks or playing fetch, is essential. Good boy. It will retrieve over and over until you can't throw that tennis ball one more time. They also love to chew, and it's important to provide safe chewing options. Sticks would not be a good thing to chew. Um, we don't do rawhide either. Rawhide, you know, there's a problem with rawhide being chewed too fast or becoming an obstruction in the stomach. It's, it's not something we would feed either. How much room does a golden retriever need? How much do you have? Even though they're adaptable to a range of living environments, these are not apartment dogs. They need space inside and out to stay healthy and content. Goldens are easily distracted by birds, animals, and other moving objects, and may bolt if not leashed. Despite their size, they're not guard dogs, but will bark, sometimes quite loudly, to let you know that something's happening. The Golden gets along with everybody. Other pets, kids, the elderly, even strangers. Stay. Good stay. Golden Retrievers stay. need high quality food to maintain health and stamina. Stay. Ask the breeder what to feed, how often, and how much okay. as quantities and formulas change from puppy stages to adulthood. For more tips on feeding, go to FidoTVChannel.com or download the Fido TV mobile app. There's a good boy. For many reasons, the Golden Retriever really does seem to be the perfect dog. But is it the woof for you? Let's recap. This breed needs a fair amount of indoor living space and an outdoor exercise area. If you're a workaholic, this is not the dog for you. Golden Retrievers will become depressed if left alone for long periods. You can sum up the Golden Retriever's temperament in one word. Great! They're friendly, sweet-natured, and playful. This large sporting breed is a medium-energy dog, but needs daily exercise. Walk, run, throw the ball, anything outdoors, and the Golden will be satisfied. Such a handsome dog requires some upkeep. Twice weekly brushing and perhaps daily brushing in the spring and the fall when shedding is at its peak. If you can't stand dog hair, you might want to rethink this breed. There's evidence of some health weaknesses that may crop up in Goldens. Hip or elbow dysplasia, eye problems, or an increased risk of cancer. Generally, however, they're considered to be healthy. They'll usually live 12 to 14 years. Talk with a reputable breeder about any health concerns. Find one at akc.org or visit the Fido TV website or download the Fido TV mobile app. What you feed and how much you feed is integral to a Golden's overall health. Feed a consistent amount of high quality food and ask your breeder to recommend a good brand. Something that we shouldn't pass up is often referred to as a golden opportunity. Is the Golden Retriever yours? Ranked third in popularity, the Golden Retriever is friendly, intelligent, and kind. It excels in field trials, hunting, obedience, and service. It loves everybody and loves to have fun. Maybe the Golden Retriever is the answer to your question of, which woof's for me? If so, good choice. Coming up, the dog that's named for its country of origin, for the work that it does, and has the word dog in its name. Find out if the German Shepherd dog is the right woof for you.
It started at a dog show in the 1880s in Western Germany. Captain Max von Stefanitz saw a dog, a sheep herding dog, that so impressed him with its agility and ability to follow commands that he bought it and renamed it Horand von Grafrath. It became the first registered German Shepherd dog, or simply GSD. The captain began standardization and development of the German Shepherd dog, and by 1908, the American Kennel Club had recognized the breed. It quickly became popular in the United States, so popular that it now ranks as the second most sought after canine in the country. But is it the wolf for you? Depends on what you're looking for in a dog. In today's often turbulent world, the traditional black and tan coat of the German Shepherd dog instantly signals police dog. I love German Shepherds for so many reasons, I don't know where to start. I, I loved them as a boy growing up. I watched them uh, in movies, uh, so I'm familiar with all of the German Shepherds who have been in movies. Uh, and I've owned some of the really nice dogs in the breed and bred some of the nice Yay! dogs in the breed. They, they love your family. They love the people that you love, and they love you. I don't know what else I could ask of a dog. Hardworking, courageous, and confident, this is a dog that will put its life on the line to protect its loved ones or its flock. Categorized as a herding dog, the German Shepherd was derived from assorted working and herding dogs dating back to medieval times. Its innate intelligence and ability to learn and retain commands for an amazing number of specialized jobs proves that you don't need sheep to put this guy to work. It takes any assignment just as seriously. They're the most versatile breed. They're, they're loving, they're bold, they're kind, they're brilliant. Um, there's, there's not another dog that, that really meets all of the requirements that I want. Good breeding is essential. Get more info about choosing a puppy from an ethical breeder who can provide documented bloodlines. Visit the German Shepherd Dog Club of America the AKC, or FidoTVChannel.com for links on how to find a puppy. You can also download the Fido TV mobile app. The strong, well-muscled German Shepherd dog is agile, alert, and full of life. It's a large breed that has been described as confident, courageous, and smart. At the highest point of his shoulder blade, a male Shepherd will average 24 to 26 inches in height. Female German Shepherd dogs are slightly smaller standing at 22 to 24 inches. Interestingly, the breed standard states that every animal gives an impression of masculinity or femininity. This breed is longer than it is tall, deep-bodied, and presents an outline of smooth curves rather than angles, a natural for Hollywood. And that's just what happened with the most famous German Shepherd dog of all time, Rin Tin Tin. Legend has it that Rinty, as the male German Shepherd dog was nicknamed, was found on a World War I battlefield in Germany by an American GI. The dog was brought to America where he attracted the attention of Hollywood studio executives for his amazing physical abilities. He made nearly 30 films along with starring in his own radio show, and his offspring kept the legend alive with a TV series from 1954 through 59. It's easy to see why the German Shepherd dog has star appeal. It's athletic, has a face that's immensely expressive, and carries itself with dignity. There's also that handsome coat, which comes in a variety of colors. German Shepherd dog has an all-weather coat. Uh, it, you brush it periodically, you back brush it to stand the hair up and lift all of the dirt and dust and things that may be in it and then you simply brush it down and all of the debris or whatever the dog has been in all day will come out and you basically have a clean coat. Grooming the Shepherd is a bonding experience, which is a good thing as this breed's coat requires regular weekly brushing to keep it mat free yeah, it and to control shedding, which it does, a fair amount. During heavy shedding season in the spring and fall, daily brushing is needed. The occasional bath will keep your shepherd less doggy smelling, but with that thick undercoat that resists deep cleaning, it may always smell a bit like the animal that it is. With a beautiful head that projects intelligence and a long muscled torso, the German Shepherd dog is built for strength, endurance, and agility. This deep-chested dog usually displays a free and easy trot, but give it a reason and it can reach great speeds.
The majority of German Shepherds are healthy, some suffering from hip or elbow dysplasia or eye disease. But obtaining a GSD from a qualified breeder is absolutely essential to head off any unwanted health issues. When kept mentally and physically stimulated, essential for this very active dog, the German Shepherd will usually live anywhere from 10 to 12 years, perhaps longer. Like most dogs, a bored Shepherd may become a destructive dog that whines and cries excessively when left home alone. It's like having a human only better because they don't gripe and tell you you shouldn't eat that or why did you do this. They, um, they just, they're very intuitive, Good dog. Um, they're very versatile, Good dog. They're, they're loving, but strong. Starting to sound as if you're up for the challenge of owning a German Shepherd dog? When we return, we'll find out. The breed standard for the German Shepherd dog states that it has a certain aloofness that does not lend itself to immediate and indiscriminate friendships. But the bonds it does form once a relationship is established are impressive. The German Shepherd makes a great family pet. They're an integral part of the family. They love being part of the family and their loyalty is without question. The German Shepherd makes an excellent family dog because it's oriented to respond to, a, to an owner or to a herder or to the seeing eye person, so it's oriented to respond to people. That's why the great work ethic of the German Shepherd is so popular among Americans. Prized for its abilities as a guard dog, if well-bred, properly trained, and regularly socialized, the German Shepherd dog is also gentle and caring. This working machine requires high quality fuel. Work with your breeder to determine type, quality, and quantity to feed your shepherd well its entire life. Let's take another quick look at this breed's amazing attributes to decide if this is the wolf for you. Where you live is not a big deal, as the German Shepherd learns very quickly who's in charge and what options are available. The German Shepherd dog loves to be with its family and doing its good work, whatever that work entails. A little bit of extra space is nice for this large breed, but it doesn't need a farm or a field to thrive. A fenced yard is a plus. I don't think you can find a, an animal that will fit into a family and be, be part of the family as well as a German Shepherd because they're bright, because they're loyal, because they're, they're loving dogs and they want to be part of your family. They're not meant to be a dog that lives in your backyard. Watchful, curious, and obedient. Calm and courageous also describe this highly intelligent breed. It can be playful and a little goofy at times, but when there's work to do, the shepherd is all business. If you assume the role of master with consistency, fairness, praise, and patience, Training the highly intelligent and very responsive German Shepherd dog should not be hard. They love to learn. Medium energy but very active, the German Shepherd dog needs regular exercise on a daily basis. Long romps or walks and lots of training exercises are recommended. I think it's really important to exercise your dog because it exercises you as well. <laughs> And I love getting exercise with my dogs. I love taking long walks with my dogs. I love doing agility with my dogs. I only started agility maybe six years ago. I'm 65 years old. Anybody can do it if I can do it. And it's so much fun. And I feel so healthy after I've been running with my dogs or playing with my dogs. So exercise is really important for them as it is for us. But it also keeps them in beautiful condition. How do you feel about dog hair? Owners will tell you that keeping a German Shepherd groomed is manageable, but you will have to do some brushing. The breed's protective double coat calls for daily brushing in shedding season and at least once a week otherwise. I bathe the dogs at least every two weeks. It only takes me about 15 minutes to bathe the dog. So it's not a big deal. It's very easy. They love getting bathed and it's a lot of fun and it's a bonding experience with the animal. Some say that there's a constant doggy smell to the shepherd, but wiping down with a damp towel or dog wipe should help. So does regular dental care to help prevent plaque and tartar. The majority of German Shepherd dogs are considered to be healthy, 
but this breed is at risk for dysplasia, eye disease, and a few other weaknesses. It's reasonable to count on a lifespan of 10 to 12 years or more. The health concerns in German Shepherds today are minimal. It's one of the healthiest breeds that we have. The uh, people think about hip dysplasia and elbow dysplasia and some of those diseases, but history shows that they have been, I, I don't want to say bred out, but they certainly have minimized the number of dogs who are affected by these diseases. Fuel is important to this breed, and high quality food is a must from early age into maturity. Talk to your breeder about the best diet for a German Shepherd dog and get more tips at FidoTVChannel.com or download the Fido TV mobile app. Is the country's second most popular dog the right wolf for you? They're alert, curious, and watchful. Great qualities in any dog, and especially pronounced in the German Shepherd dog. If intelligence matters to you, the AKC ranks this breed as third brightest. For an all-around dog that can do anything you ask of it, there's nothing better than you. Loyal, confident, and hardworking, this breed is known as a dog lover's dog. Does that sound like you? Then maybe the German Shepherd dog answers the question you've been pondering. Which woof's for me?